Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, this is gonna be different. I was contacted by a company to uh, do a promotional video for their product and they want me to use the product and give it a review and I'm excited about this because this is something I love. The company's name is Pitch Pulse and they're also offering, if you want this product, after I've released this video, you have 10 days and there's going to be a link in the description below for you to click on and you get a discount for this. And we're going to make bread today. Well, it's going to take two days because it my recipe takes two days. But they sent me this 23 centimeter round banathin bowl, rattan, which is antibacterial, and it's a beautiful bowl, and a 25 centimeter oval banathin bowl. Now I'm going to, you, they've got the liners, the beautiful linen liners, but I'm going to use them, or maybe I'll use one with and one without. And also in the package, there is the Dutch whisk. Isn't that beautiful? And it's beautiful quality, just beautiful. And a dough knife. And again, beautiful quality. And a lamb. Oh, I was so excited because I've never been able to cut my bread beautifully. And with this, the way it's arched, it makes a beautiful, beautiful slice. And it's got the little leather holder to put it in. And four extra blades. So let's get making bread. Flour, salt, yeast, mix that all up. Mix that all up. Just beautiful. When it's all mixed up, I just cover it with a shower per, um, shower cap. And we're going to let that sit for 45 minutes. And we're going to knead it. So about every 45 minutes, just knead your dough. Reach under, pull forward, tuck in very sticky dough so I'm putting my hands in water there and then just keep letting it rest for 45 minutes to an hour at a time do this sometimes it takes about four hours you'll notice you'll get the consistency that you want I'll show you when I'm done what the consistency should look like well, we're gonna prepare our baskets we're just gonna I'm gonna use one with the liner and just make sure it's floured. Just like that. And then we're gonna flower the other anaton. Make sure it's floured nicely. Go and now let's prepare our, our dough out here. Now I've punched this down, folded, stretched uh, four times today. Okay, so it should have enough structure in it to keep the dough when it rises. 
It will have enough structure to keep it up there. It won't deflate on us. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. So we're going to flower our board, dump it out, and with our, I'm going to cut it in half because this was a double recipe to make two loaves. Put that over there. Just work with this one. And we'll just stretch and fold. roll it in the flour just to get everything all coated and we'll pop it seam side up down there friction of the board to pull that nice and tight. There we go. And we will seam side up. We're going to cover those and we're going to set them in the fridge overnight. It's four o'clock in the afternoon here. It's going to be like maybe 18 hours before we take these out and bake them. Well, the moment of truth has arrived. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning the next day. And it's time to take the Banneton baskets out of the fridge. And let's see. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to just tip it out here onto this parchment paper. And with our lamb, I'm just going to make a get in there and then just keep us keep a cut. about half an inch. There we go. Put that in the pan. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's ready to go in the, the oven. The other one was the Benton with the liner. And this one is the one without the liner. Okay. Oh, look at those beautiful lines on there. Just gorgeous. And this one I'm going to put in a um, cast iron Dutch oven. with the lid on and I'm going to put it both of them in the oven a cold oven and I'm going to turn the heat on to 475 and I'm going to cook it for 55 minutes the last 15 minutes I will reach in and take the lids off well here they are 
fresh out of the oven. Very hot. Oh, that's beautiful. Just beautiful. I didn't get a very good ear on it, but... That's not the pro that's not the product's fault. Look at that. I love the swirls that the basket makes. It just makes it so much more beautiful. Uh, this company, I would highly recommend buying one of these. And as someone that loves presents, this would make an awesome gift for your bread making wife or daughter, mother, just, oh, you can hear it snapping and cracking. It's just beautiful. <laughs>